If you currently have kids enrolled in the Richland School District, then you're fully aware that the high school experience nowadays is a little different than the one you and I enjoyed growing up or watching on Fast Times at Richmond High. There may be no better example of this change than inside Mr. Page's video broadcasting class at Hanford High School. In this class, students create daily video announcements and recently they began streaming numerous Hanford sporting events live over the internet. You're really showing your age, Gary. I am. Okay, are we ready to check audio? The mic? Mark yeah. one? Yeah, one or two. I think audio is coming through, but we need them to play some music. All the technology. I love technology, working with it. It's just so much hands-on. I love hands-on learning. I'm in charge of setting up audio and making sure it works with our main computer. And when I set up audio, I don't just set up the amp and the headsets and the mutes or the mute buttons that we have. I also set up like the laptop, which we have to we have to have our own network. I'm a little I'm in charge of a little bit more than just audio, and I oversee some of the camera work. The live broadcast is an amazingly complex operation. Um, to set up a, a video system is, is fairly complex. To set up an audio system is fairly complex. A network is fairly complex. But to bring all of these systems together into one working unit where we're streaming the video and the audio and coordinating it all and putting it on a closed circuit at the same time we're streaming it on the internet, it's a very complex operation. And there are so many cables and wires and cords and opportunities for things to go wrong, which gives the students a lot of opportunities to learn troubleshooting skills. Who's on camera three? Yeah, I can go with that. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Behind the scenes, there's a lot of radio talk. There's a lot of people working hard, trying to work with each other, and good, good friendship between everybody. Let's have camera two zoom out and get a, a wide view, I guess. My favorite part is, actually, I love the entire thing in general, but I like in-game experience. I like the thrill. It's just exciting. Something goes wrong, I'm there to fix it, you know? It, there's always challenges. I just am blown away on a continual basis with what they're able to accomplish. And I'm continuing to be blown away with the amount that they have yet that they can accomplish because as they, as they continue to do more, I see that they have even more potential. They have potential to, well, I like to tell them that they could rival Fox Sports. And then probably if they had the money they could and maybe someday that's where they'll be. It's actually done a tremendous amount of confidence. I started last year, but at the beginning of that, I was very unsure about what to expect. Not sure if we're doing that great or anything, just completely unstable and unsecure. And at this very point in time, I'm very confident that people are enjoying it because we have people who see us outside of the United States, like Germany, Netherlands, Egypt, Italy. And that, that boosts my confidence that people see us and that there's a reason to do it. There's a reason to be working the hardest you can, never give up. It's not just broadcast, it's for everywhere. That has boosted my confidence because it makes me realize that everybody is looking at you, even though you only see a few people, that the world judges you. That makes you want to work the hardest you can and achieve the best you can. Technology certainly has changed the high school experience. Back in my day, you had your books, a ruler, calculator, Slugger. definitely no camcorder, and live internet streaming. Peaches. But you can see Hanford High School's Game of the Week every Monday here on City View TV at 6 o'clock in the evening. Currently, they are taping football, boys and girls basketball, and wrestling.